हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड नाउ लुक एट दिस डायग्राम दिस डायग्राम शोज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्टमक इट शोज द लॉन्जिट्यूडनल सेक्शन ऑफ द स्टमक नाउ दिस वॉल ऑफ द स्टमक विच इज शोन हेयर इन द पिंक कलर नाउ गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड आर लोकेटेड इन दिस वॉल ऑफ स्टमक now as we all know the main function of stomach is to receive food and to secrete the gastric juice and this gastric juice is produced by the gastric glands and this gastric juice digest the food now let's uh, first recapitulate structure of uh, uh, stomach and its wall now human uh, stomach is composed of four main regions the first region is called as a cardiac region and this is a region that connects esophagus with the stomach then there is a dome shaped fundic region or the fundus and the main uh, stomach region is called as a body of stomach and the fourth part is the pyloric region this is a funnel shaped pylorus that connects the stomach with the duodenum now duodenum is the first part of small intestine now let's uh, talk about the structure of the wall of the stomach now the structure of the wall of the stomach is shown uh, over here uh, this diagram shows uh, tissue layers of the wall of the stomach now mucosa this mucosa it is the innermost stomach lining and this mucosa consists of uh, gastric glands uh, that produce the gastric juice uh, this mucosa also produces the mucus Uh, which is shown here uh, this diagram also shows the mucus now mucus prevents uh, the direct contact between the content of the stomach uh, that is a food along with the gastric juice it prevents the contact between the uh, content of the stomach and the wall of the uh, stomach this mucus it protects the wall of the stomach now below the mucosa is the submucosa and below the submucosa is the muscularis mucosa which is made up of smooth muscle layers namely oblique muscles circular muscles and the longitudinal muscles now outermost protective layer covering the wall of the stomach is called as a serosa so this is the wall of the stomach and the innermost lining of the wall of stomach is called as mucosa uh, which is composed of uh, gastric glands uh, which also produces the mucus and the outermost layer is called as a serosa which is a protective layer now this uh, mucosa of the stomach it consists of uh, surface mucus cells and these surface mucus cells produce mucus now as shown uh, in this diagram and also shown over here in this uh, diagram now this mucus is an insoluble gel layer and this mucus it remains adherent to the gastro duodenal mucosa now the lumen of the stomach consists of gastric juice along with the food and the function of the gastric juice is to digest the food now this uh, mucus it protects the wall of the stomach it protects the wall of stomach from being uh, coming in direct contact uh, with the gastric juice uh, if this wall of the stomach comes in contact with the gastric juice this stomach wall will get digested because uh, the gastric juice consists of pepsin pepsin digests the proteins and the wall of the uh, stomach that is the tissue layers of the wall of the stomach are also made up of proteins and carbohydrates so the mucus protects uh, the wall of the stomach uh, from being digested uh, by the gastric acid and the digestive enzymes uh, thus this mucus it protects the uh, mucosa now this mucosa uh, that is the innermost lining of the wall of uh, uh, stomach it consists of the gastric pits now each gastric pit is made up of uh, gastric glands now these gastric glands they secrete digestive fluid and that digestive fluid is released in the lumen of the stomach so gastric glands are located in the wall of stomach these gastric glands produce a gastric juice and gastric juice is released in the lumen of stomach in order to in order to digest the food and this mucus it prevents the direct contact between the content of the food and the wall of stomach so this mucus layer is highly protective it protects the wall of stomach 
Now this slide shows a uh, structure of the gastric gland. Now this is a gastric pit and this gastric pit is composed of gastric glands. These are all gastric glands which are shown here in different colors. Now uh, these gastric glands uh, they are composed of foveolar cells. Now what are these foveolar cells? These are the surface mucus cells and mucus neck cells shown here in the pink color. Now these surface mucus cells and the mucus neck cells they produce mucus. As we have already discussed mucus it forms an insoluble gel layer uh, that covers the uh, wall of uh, stomach and protects it uh, from the um, gastric juice. Now the body of the uh, gastric gland is composed of uh, parietal cells or auxentic cells. Uh, now these parietal cells they produce uh, gastric acid and intrinsic factor. Gastric acid is required for the activation of uh, pepsinogen to pepsin. Uh, pepsin is a proteolytic enzyme that digests the proteins and uh, pepsinogen is present in the uh, gastric juice. And intrinsic factor is required for the absorption of vitamin B12. Another very important uh, uh, cell uh, is the chief cell or zymogenic cells also termed as peptic cells. And these are located chief cells shown here in the green color. They are located towards the base of gastric glands. And these chief cells produce pepsinogen which is activated by the uh, hydrochloric acid or the gastric acid to pepsin. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, pepsin, it is a proteolytic enzyme that digests the proteins. Apart from these cells, gastric glands consist of uh, very important different type of endocrine cells. Uh, so these are the different types of uh, endocrine cells. Uh, the first type of cells are called as the anterochromaffin like cells and these cells they secrete the histamine. Another type of uh, cells, endocrine cells are the G cells and uh, the, these G cells they secrete gastrin. Now gastrin stimulates the parietal cells to increase uh, secretion of uh, uh, gastric acid and this gastrin also stimulate anterochromaffin like cells to increase the secretion or the release of histamine. So gastrin acts directly by stimulating parietal cells. It also acts indirectly by first stimulating anterochromaffin cells to release histamine and the histamine acts on the parietal cells to increase the release of gastric acid. Apart from this, another type of uh, endocrine cells are the D cells. D cells secrete somatostatin and this somatostatin, it inhibits release of uh, uh, gastric acid by the parietal cells. It inhibits release of uh, gastrin by the G cells and it also inhibits release of histamine by the anterochromaffin like cells. So this is in brief uh, about the structure and function of uh, gastric glands. Now, if you find this video helpful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Uh, thanks for watching this video.